Oh, I see it. Okay. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? My name is James. Uh, I'm the William Pataki field biologist, and uh, I have with me Jesse, who is the seacoast biologist, Hello. and we're just here to collect the egg that was just dumped off the nest by the loon, as you guys probably saw. Um, it stuck to the bottom, I think, <coughs> and it carried it off, and we just saw the pair kind of floating off. Um, so I think you guys basically had some questions about why maybe the loon eggs didn't hatch or why they took away the shell fragments. Um, I think that was the first question basically was why did it dispose of the one it crushed? And I think the answer would be <coughs> that this basically was an instinctive uh, trait because when they hatch they'll usually dispose of the shell like the shell fragments and the kind of like embryonic sac that the loon was in and they'll usually take this out and dispose of it regardless of um, if it hatched. So I think that was kind of the instinctive, oh, like this is this this must have been like the embryo. And it's kind of just like probably not a real good thing to have around the other egg. So I think that might be why they dragged it out. And um, I guess the question below that, uh, we're going to have Jesse reading the questions to me um, and we'll try to answer them as best as possible. Your phone lost. <laughs> What's your uh, pattern? Oh man. Okay, it's a four, <laughs> so everyone's gonna know this. No one go on my phone. Okay. Um, so you go straight up diagonal one and then to the right. Where do I start? At the bottom middle. Straight up, diagonal one down and then all the way to the right. I wanna come back over there. It's gross. Starting. Okay. So start at the, the middle. Very bottom one. The bottom the one go up. Three, like up to the top. Okay. And then, oh, and then go down diagonal one to the one on the side. And then straight across to the one on the other side. Okay. Cool. So the the next question is: Do the parents sometimes eat the shell fragments? Um. So, I do not think that they would eat them. Uh, this is a great question. I don't think that they would eat them. Um. I'm not sure if that would be like kind of cannibalistic or not. Um, I don't think I'm aware of any time that they would eat them. I think they might just move them or um, kind of like, again, like dump the embryo in the water just to kind of tidy up the nest uh, and maybe like disattract any predators that might smell that there's um, egg fragments or shells. Regarding the first egg, uh, was the shell getting weaker and weaker and then that's why the loon's weight crushed it eventually? Um, okay, so... If, I don't, I'm not sure you guys can hear him, but he, the, qu the question was, does the shell get weaker as time goes on, basically? Um, and uh, I would say I would say yes, just to degradation of the egg inside of it. Uh, obviously, if it's over-incubated, then um, something occurred within the egg to go wrong, and just having an egg sitting out in the open for any amount of time, any egg, I'm sure would get weaker um, eventually. I'm not sure if the timeline would be like, like, because it got weak in like a couple weeks and cracked, if that would be the correct timeline. Um, but I definitely think over time, the fragments would become weaker, essentially. Uh, so it might be due to that that the egg cracked, or it might be due to just a weak egg, like a weak uh, eggshell to begin with that uh, the loons have been having a problem with recently due to some uh, some toxins in the water that the shells aren't, aren't as sturdy as they once were, I think. Is a crushed uh, eggshell normal, or is that an indication of um, it being inviolable? Um, so again, I think um, I have not run across, I guess, any instances of this being of this happening to a healthy eggshell. So again, I come back to maybe the toxins um, creating a weaker shell, or the again inviability of it. I guess would be would be a decent. Um, a decent answer to that, so I, I guess I, I would say may, I would say maybe that it would lead to the weaker eggshell, therefore being crushed. Are the is 
the loon pair grieving considering it's a cracked egg? Do they react differently to a cracked egg compared to um, just an inviolable egg that they leave? Um, I'm not sure if we know exactly the emotions of the loon. Um, just based on, I guess, that it's hard to study their brains. Um, so, I mean, I we just heard like a couple whales uh, when we were going past, but that may have just been um, that they were, may, I mean, maybe they were grieving a little bit. Obviously, they knew they didn't have a chick, um, but I think kind of instinct, instinctively, they're just waiting for next year now, um, waiting to get back on the territory and try and nest again. I doubt that they think about it too much. It keeps them up at night. Can you tell by the egg contents how old the chick was when it died? Uh, yeah, so I think we usually use um, a flotation method. So I'm not I'm not exactly 100% on the science of it, but I do I can answer that we can tell how old it is based on like the float stage of it essentially. Um, so when we'll take this back to the lab. And we'll measure it. We'll measure the displacement, the length, and the width of it, and we'll see uh, what the float stage is, is essentially. And I think by that we can tell kind of how old it was and like how old it was when it became inviolable. Do females um, do females get less fertile as they get older, um, or is this possibly an inexperienced male, and that's why uh, the egg was inviolable? Uh, so. Basically, the question was, do females get less fertile as they get older, um, or is this another reason? And I would say that an older female does not get less fertile due to the science behind um, the long, like, so the loons are a long-lived species, uh, considering, like, they, we, we, have, we have some that are, like, 20-plus years, maybe 30, um, and through this, they will kind of become more fecund or be better at reproducing and be able to reproduce more often, I think, as they get older. Um, and this is just kind of the uh, selected trait for, for all the long-lived species, really, that as, as, as they age, they kind of just get better at reproducing. Um, so it could, be a young, it could be a young male here that was inexperienced, or it could just be just uh, just, uh, just an inviolable egg due to un unknown reasons, really, um, or any number of things could really go wrong. It's not, it's it's hard to pinpoint like anything specific, I guess. Um, did you find that these pair are especially devoted to each other and the nest in the incubation? Um, the question just says that it seems like this nest was kind of haphazard or out of sync with other pairs? Um, so I guess the answer to that would be that if there is like a new mate in the pair, then they might be a little out of sync in terms of nesting and staying on the nest. Um, again, it's hard to tell their marital status or their devotion to each other um, just by watching them. Um, so I guess just experience with each other might be one thing that, uh, if they were together for a while, they might be better at it, or it just might be, um, just a new, just a new pair and they're just trying to figure it out, I guess, would be, would be the other option. Do you have any plans to, uh, capture and band male? Um, I do not think so since they do not have a chick, which is usually when we would try, we would try and capture them. Uh, make it easier, but now I think that they are chickless, and they're kind of go gonna go do their own thing. Um, that it would make it a little harder to to catch them. So I do not think that we will have plans to ban them. Although we could ban them like next year or something if they're successful. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, uh, so Jesse just said that banning them next year would be a possibility if they're success. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, successful, um, would, <coughs> would be good, um, because I think it was the female that was banded. <coughs> so it's always good to have, like, the pair banded to know for sure whether they came back and it's the same ones. Um, any info regarding the chick and family status of the first, uh, live cam this year? Um, 
<coughs> so the stats of the first live cam, I think that would be a question to call into the Loon Center because I'm not particularly sure what happened to them, though I haven't heard any negative news, so I'm assuming they're good and kind of doing their own thing, um, hopefully. But yeah, if you want to <coughs> know further about that, I think probably the Loon Center would be a good one to call for that one since uh, I'm not the biologist on that lake. And um, do we know anything about the, uh, the loon census so far, or are we still running the numbers? Um, so I think the numbers are still running. It takes a while to get, to get all of the information in and then to figure out kind of which ones are, which ones are the ones we're going to use and which ones are kind of overlaps with each other to make sure we don't double count any of them, any of the loons. But, um, I mean, I, that was a little while ago, so I think it should be hopefully pretty soon that we're able to get those numbers to you guys and uh, hopefully see some positive results from it. Is that and it? that is our last question. All right, cool, guys. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope you had a good time watching the loon eggs. Uh, it's, it's a bummer that they didn't hatch, but, you know, there's always next season, um, and this kind of thing is pretty, pretty common. So I hope you tune in later and definitely keep supporting the Loon Preservation Committee and all they do because it's pretty, pretty awesome. So thank you, guys. And you guys can thank Jesse for being an awesome question reader. <laughs> and thank you for getting all the questions right, James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm thinking in this my worst fear. <laughs> Fall on camera. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Where did she pick you up? Uh, I'm good, yeah, I think. Oh, man. I mean, I thought this would be easy. Like all the way up to here. <laughs> that, is, that is really my worst fear. Yeah. I hate, I hate that feeling.